What's going on guys? My name is Brennan Myers. It's a little chilly here in Denver, Colorado. This is the 30 for 30 series and let's jump right in. They got problems on problems on problems on problems on problems on problems I solve them. I run through the money, the pressure be calling. Left on my blessings, I feel like I'm falling. The 30 is back. Tell me I'm garbage. I'm going through something. That's why I ain't calling. Phone and progression is all that I wanted to all right, so 30 for 30, what does it mean? Every single morning, we're just coming back with a new workout video, absolutely free here on YouTube. You could be following, and for the entire series, we're gonna continuously grow and grow and grow and do more and try and just give back as much as possible. So 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time is when we post these videos. If it's not posted, it's just a rest of recovery day. No worries on your part. Now, jumping into today's video, we have legs. Now, before we jump into any exercise, superset of the set, the demonstrations, and the tutorial, we always show you which muscle part is being worked so make sure you check that out before you get started with any type of exercise if you want to know exactly what you're working now before we jump in I want to give you a few tips you could be following for the entire workout and future workouts so let's get started all right quick tip number one make sure you are not overstretching your hip flexor when you do any type of lunging movements number two if exercises are too difficult you may use a counter fence or table for assistance number three I suggest waking up each morning and stretching for at least 10 minutes wake up your body number four progress your physique by eating high quality foods consistently I suggest four to five meals a day rather than just a big one number five and last if you don't consume any vegetables in your diet or want extra servings every day try the create you greens link is always in the description all right so we're gonna start off with air squats now I do suggest you warm up even before the air squats even though air squats can be a warm-up if you're more advanced or intermediate now if you're a beginner this will be real work for you and that's no worries you can also if you want to make it more advanced do pistol squats that's completely fine as well but our our feet are gonna be just outside of shoulder width apart, externally rotating at our hips slightly, squeezing our feet into the ground, okay? Keeping our chin tucked. We don't wanna look over at the ground the entire time. We're actually gonna put our low spine in a bad position. So we're gonna stay tight right here. You can put your hands out. I do suggest supinating it and, and putting an underhand out in front of you and coming down just about right below parallel, squeezing everything, pushing your knees out. You don't want them to come in, pushing them out, and then coming all the way back up, and that is your set. All right, we have suicide squats, single leg, into squat jumps on the fence. So with these suicide squats, I want you to be about, I would say two feet from the fence, okay? You're gonna be leaning slightly over, squeezing in your glutes, keeping your spine completely straight, tucking in your chin right here, okay? Now, this foot, the opposite foot, whatever you're not working, is gonna come off the ground right here, okay? You're gonna go on the ball of your foot as so, and all you're gonna do is come down right until you feel it in your quad, and then come right back up. Now, if you do have knee problems, I don't suggest doing this movement. Go ahead and try two feet, and if again, it's bothering your knees a little bit, then I do suggest just doing some type of squats. Now, next movement, we're gonna be doing into squat jumps on the fence. So, you're gonna grab the fence in a good position, or chair, whatever, if you're in the house, okay? And all you're gonna do is make sure that you're getting good depth here, as so, squeezing everything. Your feet are gonna be outside of shoulder width apart. You wanna be in a really, really athletic stance, okay? And you're gonna squeeze your hips through and really extend. So it's called triple extension. Extension of the ankle, extension of the knee, and extension of the hips. So you wanna be in this position when you're coming all the way up, and then coming right back down, and coming all the way back up, and that is your superset. All right, we have knee get-ups in this set, step-by-step, step, which means it's gonna be one foot, then the next, but making sure you're staying in a squat position as you're coming up, keeping our stomachs tight, keeping our chin suspended, and our shoulders back as so, so it's a big chest, okay? So we're gonna be in this position. Now I want you to have your feet into the ground, so your toes are gonna almost curled up so you can be really really uh find some placement in the ground as you're going up okay keeping everything tight we're gonna go one foot here okay then outside of shoulder width apart here then right back down and right back down okay so again one up next one down down now if you have a little bit more mobility in your ankles and your knees come a little bit more forward past your toes, that's fine, it's completely fine. Just make sure you're not rounding your back through the movement. All right, we have quick split jumps each side going into a certain hold on the fence for our hamstrings, okay? So with these split jumps, we just make sure we're in this lunge position, okay? Remember what I said at, in the tips, you don't wanna be too far out and you're starting to put a lot of strain on um, this hip flexor, the, the opposite side, right? Also, when you are in the position, you wanna almost try and make sure that your hip is back, okay? You notice that, notice that difference, boom, right here, okay? So, in this position, you're just gonna be switching fast, okay? Fast, fast. It's not supposed to be a movement that's going to destroy your legs because we're going into a superset. Just make sure you're in that position, you're keeping everything tight and the knees aren't flailing everywhere and, and internally rotate. We don't want that, okay? It's a very, very specific movement. Then we're gonna move straight into 
and this is tough, these hamstring holds on the fence or counter, whatever it is, just make sure, or wall, I do suggest the wall. So, you don't want to be allowing your feet to just hold there, because then you're just really cheating yourself in the end, okay? So you want it to be, I would say, about 12 inches off the ground right here, okay? Now, you're gonna push your hands into the ground or the back of your elbows, that's completely fine, and all you're gonna do is come up with your feet, okay? Now notice this position right here. This is just a tutorial to the actual movement. So instead of being fully extended with the knees, what we wanna do, come a little bit closer, okay? In this position, we're gonna hold here with a slight knee bend where you could feel your hamstrings burning the entire time. If you are not doing it correctly, that means your hamstrings aren't working and vice versa. You wanna feel those hamstrings the entire time through this movement. Okay, last super step, we're gonna be doing some pulsating squats here on the fence now these are going to be a little bit quicker not very very slow and i'm sure you've seen on instagram you know people going here in squats okay that's not what we want what we really want to do is place ourselves in an over position so we're kind of over and and looking at the ground a little bit more okay but more so out there right not straight in front not all the way down a little bit about 45 degrees if you were to come up from the bottom here 45 degrees boom you see it right here you can see my butt's kind of back a little bit all right now i want you to bring your feet in a little bit closer this time almost like they are it's like a, a suicide or a sissy squat at the gym okay now from this position i want you to come down about halfway and just stabilizing here with the, with the hands and you're going to be up like this as fast as you can go and you're going to feel it in your quads, and if you round your upper back a little bit, just your upper back, not your lower back, you wanna keep everything tight here, you're gonna feel it a little bit more in your glutes, okay? Now you're gonna superset that movement with a forward regular lunge, normal generic general lunge here, come here, making sure our hip is shifting back as so, and then exploding back up, come back down, and I suggest going on one leg for all the reps, then switch it to the other leg for the rest of the reps. All right, so there you have it. That is your 30 for 30 workout for the day. Remember, 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time is when we post these videos. If it's not uploaded, we just didn't post it, and uh, you need to rest to recover. Now, recovery, talking about recovery, I take essential amino acids every single day, and I've seen a big difference when I actually do take them. And also, it's, it's kind of just fun to, to taste something a little bit different than, than water. I, I drink a gallon a day, and maybe you want to implement that into your own diet and, and things that you do daily. Um, I also wake up and I meditate and I do my rehab. I do a little bit of stretching, a little bit of foam rolling. And I try and wake up at a normal hour, something that, that is it suits me very, very well. I was waking up at 5 a.m. every single morning, and I got burnt out because of how much I was doing from 5 a.m. all the way until going to sleep with my training and everything. Um, so I've kind of made it work recently and I found a lot of success doing those type of things and then also Epsom salt baths. I don't know if you've ever tried an Epsom salt bath before but with this, these types of salts it really helps with inflammation, recovery, digestion. There's a lot of great properties in the Epsom salt itself um, and I highly highly suggest that you check that out. I use um, Dr. Something. I, Dr. Something. I, I can't, I'm not good at remembering these type of things clearly but uh, yeah try some different things out for your own recovery. Maybe you're not eating enough, maybe you're not drinking enough, maybe your sleep is off, maybe you're super stressed. You know, with this quarantine happening and everything going on, uh, a lot of people are super stressed because they can't be in communication with certain people or see certain people. Um, so just keep your head up and keep on pushing through this, these times, these tough times. Whether, you know, there's fake news or real news, whatever it is, the facts are is that we are all pretty much isolated during this time and we need to find ways to better ourselves and keep on growing even when we're, we're kind of struggling in certain ways. So um, thanks for tuning in for this video. If you enjoy these workouts, leave me some feedback in the comment section. Subscribe if you haven't already. Give this video a thumbs up and all the other videos. It really helps with the algorithm to get this out to more people. I'm not so, I, I'm not like freaking out about how many views there are or this or that, but I do want people to be able to utilize stuff that actually works. You know, I've been doing this for so long. You guys know this, especially my followers. Like I've been doing this for so long and I actually love it. I get a lot of passion doing it. That's why I can keep on speaking and speaking and speaking and not really mess up too many times because it's just coming from the heart and this is just how I feel. So thank you 
you again for all the support over the years. I've been on here for, I don't know, seven and a half years. I've been up to millions of views. I've been down to, to a couple thousands of views and then in the middle, like at the end of the day, I'm just thankful for each and every one of you and I hope that I am providing for, for uh, on, an, on a personal level for you. So uh, also follow my Instagram, at the B Myers, and if you need any Create You Nutrition products, link is always in the description. We're coming out with our pre-workouts very, very soon and more things coming and uh, see you next time. Peace.